think it all goes back to this idea of taking the first step. And, you know, from our conversation, it seems like, you know, the first step that you took was taking a look at all of your assets and mm -hmm. running a criticality analysis on them. Um, so for, for our listeners, you know, where did you start with this process and would you recommend that to everyone? Um, first of all, yes, I would recommend it to everyone. Um, and, and the reason for that is, is you want to make sure you're doing the right job or the right task at the right time. And everything that you want your technicians to do, you know, needs to be value added to the success of the organization. Right. So, um, going back, I, you know, I did form that reliability committee first and foremost to, to, to get them on board and, and start sharing that. Uh, when we got the committee together, I kind of facilitated, you know, uh, the requirements of the criticality analysis. So what are some of the things we should really focus on and got buy-in from there? Um, so what, what we chose to focus on for our criticality analysis was number one, the probability of failure. Uh, number two, the risk of failure. Um, and then I also incorporated, um, safety. So if yeah. there was a safety aspect to it, um, and then because one of my committee members is also, uh, uh, an energy manager, I incorporated this, uh, energy management piece. Um, and then, so once we came out with that criteria, then we decided on a scoring mechanism. We set up an Excel spreadsheet that we just plugged the number in. It would automatically you know, do the formula and change the color to green, yellow, or red. Um, and then the way we set it up, if it's red, it's a priority one, which means it's a critical asset. Green is a priority three, you know, not so critical. 